All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about the nav, because in most cases, you know, you're going to want some sort of navigation for your user to switch between pages, right? So first, let's take this out. Okay. And the way the navigation works is you put in your nav tag, right, just like that. And inside it, you put role equals navigation, okay? And inside that, what's going to happen is you're going to have your UL, right? And within that, it's going to be called class of nav, right? So now you've created your base nav, right? And it's through that element where you have nav as a class that will be defined as the base nav, okay? So let's make our list item, right? And that will hold a class of nav item okay and within that you will have your href right which is your link right so that will have a class of nav link you see how this is all working within bootstrap you know you have classes within classes within classes and that's how it defines you know certain elements and and makes them appear the way they are right because this is all css you got to remember that and through these classes you know, that's how it's making certain um, visuals look like. Okay, so in here, we'll have home. Okay, and let's make a few more of those. And let's see how it looks. So as you can see, we have somewhat of a navigation. It doesn't look that great. But, you know, it is standing, you know, it's even now, it's... You know, the, the width is spanning the whole page. You know, they're even, um, they're stacked on top of each other. You know, sometimes you may want this look, but in most cases, this is not exactly what you like. Okay? So, at least we've created some sort of nav. So, let's say instead of it being vertically, we want it to be seen horizontally. So, what, we, what you would do is put nav inline. Okay. and you'd have something like that right now how exactly do you get that look where you know you would have the links showing and it would be you know you could click on it and it's kind of like blue how would you get that well you would get that by putting here nav link and then active right and then you would put in your href Of course, that's where you would put your link, right? Inside the e-track. And it should appear that way right now. There you go. Okay. Now, how exactly would you put it so that one of these links are not active, right? Let's say you want to block one out. You want to block it so the user doesn't have access to that page. How would you do that? So you would put here nav link and add over to that disabled right let's see how that looks so as you can see the link you're not able to click on it but the other ones you are right this one you could obviously see a block sign because you're not allowed to access that link okay and that's pretty useful in some instances where that page is still under you know construction and you don't want the user to have access to that one Okay, so let's explore other views. So let's go back to the base nav. And let's change this to nav pills. Okay. That's pretty cool, eh? That look, that's usually the look that uh, most people choose. And, you know, this is the one that I prefer as well, where you have, you know, the active link being shown in a way where, you know, the background is highlighted, right? Now, there's also a way where you could stack that, make it vertical. So let's add here nav stacked. And it would look something like that, right? And that looks pretty cool when it's on mobile, right? So that's nav pills and nav stacked, okay? So there's also this other option called nav tabs. Right? And that will give you somewhat of a folder look, right? 
where you have those kind of folders that pop out with the with the label. As you can see, the active link has uh, uh, the folder pop up, right? And the rest are just sitting in that. But you know, let's change up the active. Check this out. Change that. And then now home as a folder pop-up thing going on. Brackets is kind of highlighting it right now, but as you can see, you know, this one, the third item actually has a tab look. Okay, so that's a basic run through of navigation. Um, right now, it doesn't really look that great, right? And that's fine. This is just the base nav. In the next few tutorials, we're gonna talk about drop downs and the nav bar, which is where you store your navigation. And from there, you know, that will give it that spaced out look, you know, the you know, the poppiness, give it that punch, so that it actually looks like a neat, neatly tied in navigation bar. Okay? So practice that, try to master the different types of navs, and then we'll, you know, we'll work through that and I'll see you in the next tutorial.